Hello YouTube and uh, welcome Diecast family. And today, uh, welcome to another Trucking Stuff Thursday. And today we got, uh, well it's going to be the stuff part of Trucking Stuff Thursday. Because I did not realize how many of these I had until I organized the Diecast Insanity. But first up, we got the custom Ford Bronco. And this one in green. No idea when this came out. Pretty cool release of it, though. I guess this is a casting I collect. The Hot Wheels and the Matchbox are very similar as we'll see here next one it's gonna be the one I have the most of this will be the blue with flames but we got several variations of it. The next variation is a burgundy one with flames. Pretty cool release. If you watch my videos and know me, then you know I love my burgundy cars, so. Definitely digging it. I love when they do the burgundy paint and the big wheels with the, like, the red bead locker on it. Looks really good. And the next one gonna be a green one if they only had three color variations of this and a must have them really looks good in green flames on the hood And the next one is the only one I have in this with the surfs up and the wave on the side. Was this released in any other color? If it was, I'm missing all of them. All I have is a Z-Mac. But if there was a Z-Mac of it, I'm sure there was at least two other color releases for it. At least. Which I must not have. Then we have a blue release, which I'm pretty sure was a five-pack exclusive or a multi-pack exclusive, I think. Which This looks a lot like a factory deco you would have found on this. I only have one more Hot Wheels of it, which is this camo one from a special release, a special cam camo release of it. I think the Silverado camo card truck came out in this. Maybe not. No, I think that was a different camo release. Because it doesn't have this, like, digital looking camo on it. It has normal looking camo. 
So that's six, seven releases from Hot Wheels. Seven. I would have thought I had two or three of these. Not seven of them. Now we'll check out the Matchbox. First one is a Skyjacker. Awesome release. I'll probably pick up anything that says Skyjacker on it. Pretty popular lift. Aftermarket lift. And it looks good in the flat black. The brown top. Looks quite nice. Almost prefer the Matchbox, but I mean, they're... They're about identical. The Hot Wheels has a light bar. That's the main difference I see. Uh, Hot Wheels might be a little bit wider. I don't think he has that little hood scoop either. No. Uh, Matchbox has a tailgate. Hmm. Well, I like them both. Hot Wheels doesn't always have a tire. That variation had a tire. No, I guess they all do. I thought some had a back seat. Nope. You know what? I like the Matchbox better. It has a tailgate and a back seat. I'm not sure where that green release came out at. Or this purple one. But man, that looks good in purple, though. That looks really good in purple. And the next one might be one of my... Uh, it could be my favorite. This one's pretty cool. And this was a multi-pack. And it came with both these and the five pack and I just thought that they were real fitting that it was a matching set so kept them together even though I don't think it comes as a matching set although it comes in the same five pack still really awesome though <clears throat> and then we got the more traditional Ford Bronco which I only have two here this one has a metal body and a metal base it says 2012 Mattel 85 Ford Bronco. That's about all I know from it. I don't think it's that old of a release. It looks kind of good in this yellowish, limeish, greenish satin paint. And then we have this final run in 2003. It just says on the bottom, Hot Wheels. So this originally came out in 1980. So very old casting. Ran from 1980 to 2003. So it ran for 23 years. I'm sure there's a lot of releases of this over the years. And is this the Chevy Blazer or the Ford Bronco? Really hard to tell, but I think it's a Ford Bronco. And they have this release of the Ford Bronco, which I think I stole the real riders off of. Let's flip it over and see. Yep, sure did. There's a screw. So I would have stole the real riders off of this. What is this? This one don't say what it is either. 
Huh. But I think it might be a Ford Bronco too. Looks like a Ford Bronco from the front end. This one's released a lot in the retro entertainment or whatever. But you don't see it very often besides that. Pretty cool casting. And I don't think it looks bad with the plastic wheels I put on it. I'm sure whatever I put the real riders on looks a lot better than this did with them. Oh, it says Ford on the back, so it has to be a Ford Bronco. And then somebody comment down below how many color releases a new Ford Bronco's been in. But the only one I have is this blue one. So I do not know of it being released in any other color yet. But if it has, comment down below. Let me know. Definitely something I'll have to look for. And since this is a truck and stuff Thursday and... We're doing the stuff portion of it, and I have out this case anyways. Let's just go ahead and run through the Chevy Blazers I have. So, the first Chevy Blazer I have, not a bad release. Very, like, factory-looking paint deco on it. And the next one actually looks pretty good in the green. Like the gold or bronze rims. And this is another one I had more releases of than what I actually thought. But sometimes you get these in five packs and stuff. So you buy the five pack just for one casting and then end up with a few others. Because these aren't something I would really buy in a mainline. I mean, I, prob I probably would buy that in a mainline. Maybe this one. I don't know. And then we got this fire one. And it looks pretty good in the fire. In the fire, the police, I'll probably pick it up. This one, I could have definitely went without. The football paint scheme, kind of goofy. The hood looks like a big football. And then the last one, which looks pretty good in the camo. And the satin black. And the orange windows. Uh, kind of goes with the hunting theme of it. So kind of don't mind the orange windows for this one. Because that satin black looks killer. Would have looked better with clear windows. If I'm honest. But. I get where they were coming from with the orange windows. If you're going to do something like that, you might as well stick with the hunting theme. Seeing how it's already in camo, which I really don't care for. But I picked up the whole set, so might as well just crack them open, put them in the collection. Besides, they all look nice displayed together. Even though I don't care for that one at all. Next to the other ones in the display, don't look bad. If I had all six, if I had two more of these spaces filled up, it looked better in the display. Well, no, I guess I only need one more. Guess I got five. So, and this one, uh, it's all right. Eh, it's all right, Hot Wheels. Even in real life, I'm not really sold on it that that I like my favorite today though it's probably
probably that purple matchbox. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know what you like to collect. Definitely leave comments. Hit the subscribe button. And have an awesome Thursday. See you in the next one.